I love you, mama, but it hurts. I love you, mama, but it hurts when I'm alone. It hurts when I'm alone. It hurts when you was working, I was in school. You treated me like bad dudes. I guess you thought I was like my dad. I forgive him for treating you cruel. Mama, it's a different life. I ain't do this to blame you. I want to let you know how I felt and what you put me through. Listen, I was a young kid in grade school. I had the coldest dribble, mama, the coldest flow. You should have seen me when I shot my shot from the free throw. With my wrist, wrist popping like the free throw. I was cold in my game, mama. I had the coldest basketball running game. I played point guard. You should have seen me. I was cold blooded, mama. Everybody used to scream my name. Different strangers just didn't even know who they was. Ah, all I know is they made a young brother feel like a star. But it wasn't nothing though. And it was empty because you weren't there, mama. You didn't have my back. You know? And I don't want to blame, you know, I just want to let you know that how I was feeling when I was a kid. And he really cued me for everything that I did. But look, we're going to skip that. Let me get back on track. <laughs> Listen, mom, I had a cold, cold boxing game. You know, I was the oldest of my brothers. I was alone. They tried me and tested me. They big brothers had big brothers and everybody wanted to fight young kids. Mom, I ain't gonna lie, I had a lot of fear. I was scared. Nobody taught me about being brave. But when you apply so much pressure on a young heart, mama, that create a native brave. I got harder as things got. I was colder the more I boxed. I never lost one fight. I had wrestling abilities that was cold blooded and it was tight. I put the grip on them, mama, you should have seen them. Their big brother said, you better whoop his ass, I'm going to whoop your ass. They was getting mad, so mad that a sucker, his big brother, sucker punched him. Because I was putting them dogs on him real bad, huh? Now, I ain't stunned, I ain't trying to perform, you know. I'm not trying to enlighten them with the negativity. But I want you to know about the hardship and the pain and the things I call sensitivity. My mom was nothing but like, what, 11, huh? All by myself and my brother was, what, four and seven? I'ma just keep it real. I miss you, mama, but you didn't love me. I felt like it wasn't heaven. I felt like I was all alone because you accused me for things I never did. And I still pray to God that you was in my life. But you kept pushing me back. You kept pushing me back till I ran off one day and didn't come back. I spent the whole night in the cold, mama. We're going to let it go. We're going to let it keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Look. And I ain't complaining about the clothes. I know you can only afford what you was able to get us. And I was a little embarrassed about the things I wore. But at the end of the day, that wasn't the biggest worry. My biggest worry is I was all alone and I needed knowledge. No one was there to teach me about being a man or how to be the man or how to be responsible or accountable. So I had to fall in within the worldly plan. And the streets try to bring the heat to me. But I fought back. I guess it's the genetic. It's the beef in me. It's the warrior, the king. It's the Zulu. I don't know where it come from, but I mean it's the Zulu. Yeah. And it taught me a lot, huh? I cried by myself. Nobody knew it, huh? I was in school. I was an all-star athlete. But when it came to my attendance, you know, I blew it, huh? Because I was embarrassed, mama. I was in pain. I was crying, mama. I was starving in pain. I ain't tripping. I know you didn't have a much, but eating one day, mama, drove a young kid insane. So I got on the wrestling team. I ain't going to say I was like malnutrition. But my legs were a little thin, and my body was a little thin. But everybody that had muscle as a kid, they lost. And I made 20 wins, mama. Never lost one wrestling match. And I put that on Jesus Christ about that. 
And they was applauding, they was yelling my name, they was showing me so much love, but the only difference, they were strangers. And I didn't know one person that was in the audience or in the bleachers. Mama, it ain't the same without you, I love you. My heart be screaming for you, you know? I keep it real, mama. And I guess you never had time to talk, you never had time to talk to me. I don't know what I did, and if some of my dad did, I forgive him for ruining our family. But I ain't gonna blame him for nothing, cause we ain't perfect. And I ain't gonna say the disrespect that you deserve, and I ain't gonna say the disrespect you disrespect to me, I deserve it. But look, things happen in life, so baby, we can work it. But then when you show me no love, and still holding the regrets, pushing me back, what am I supposed to do? I just got out the penitentiary to see you. I love you. And the first thing we go, you're going to buy some dope. And that ain't cool. You don't feel good. I don't mean the exposure. But I don't know what else to do. Because when I try to talk to you, people get closed-minded, get self-centered, get negative, and ain't nothing going through. But mama, I've been adopted by the streets. My father in the streets, no disrespect to you. I got all my game, I got all my strength, I got all my swag and lyrical type things from the streets. My big brothers was the streets. Niggas that was older than me, my peers, and even younger brothers was my family. Mom, I was all alone. I needed you. When what? You treated me bad. You abused me. I, and I still adore you. Huh? I know I got imperfections. I felt like the black sheep and the outcast. Now, if I'm wrong for expressing myself, Mama, forgive me, I'm only speaking what I know in the past. I mean, I can understand an ass whooping, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that it serves one right. But goddamn, getting hit in the head with a high heel, goddamn it, goddamn it, all I saw was black, 13 years old. 13 years old. Look, I don't know if you ever knew it. Uh, I was the first kid in the first class, and I did a speed test on math, and I was the first that got an award, and I felt good. It was an accomplishment. I was good at mathematics. I did my thing. Uh, social studies got difficult because I stayed isolated. I was too embarrassed to be around anybody, you know? I was hurt, huh? I was deserted, huh? I was shot down with no one to have my back. I didn't have no big brother like I had little brothers, mama. I was all alone, and that serves a fact. And I ain't trying to write the blame, but you gotta understand me and serve me like you did that cane. And what I'm saying don't serve me, but just give me a chance to talk so you can understand me. Understand the pain I feel and understand the pain I've been through. Understand the things I went through, mama. It cost me hell. I know sometimes things get difficult, but mama, if you love your kids, you gotta show and tell. Do your best. I would at least took it at interest. I mean, I was a kid. I didn't know much. And it's a lot more that happened. It's a lot more that's been done, but there's some things I just won't discuss. But I still love you and I'm still your son. And that ain't gonna never change. But understand, all I ask is respect me as a man, huh? Shit, 39, nigga, almost going on 40, and he's still talk down on me. Listen, spread rumors affect the person's heart. Being abused as a kid and being abused as an adult, what am I supposed to do? This shit can make a nigga go insane. Thank God I'm a real nigga, get fired, I can't be no cane to pain. Cause some people do crazy shit. Some shit that I don't even want to deal with. Huh. Ask them white boys. You know how crazy a motherfucking young family member can get. But we ain't going to go there. Because I still care. And I understand in this life, life just ain't fair. And I'm not blaming. I'm just saying I'm venting. I want you feeling my pain. And I'm going to express the real. It's no lie. And that's why I cry all along. Tears fall deep in my soul. I be acting like I ain't bothered by nothing. But it's cold. I know my temple seems like shining and all nice, but inside, mama, I be hurting with no lights, with no fights. But, but, uh, 
I never treat my kid the way some people treat their kids. What I didn't get, I'ma remember, I'ma make sure that I show love and concern for my baby boy, for my kids, all of them. I love them to death. And when I ever think about trying to disrespect, I'ma think about myself and what I felt. And what I felt a self disrespect that made me get out in the streets from the learned behaviors that was brought on to me. I didn't ask for it. It came, it was bondage. And that's why I got negative, huh? I got a little crazy, huh? That's why the streets did raise me, huh? That's why I got this characteristic street criminal mind type look that you stereotypes, they like them stereotypes as crooks, huh? Yeah.